What's up guys, welcome to another Rockon episode and today is the world premiere of the brand new KTM 390 Adventure R Completely new bike, nothing is same as on the previous generation and now we're gonna dive into all the details and let me show you what this bike is offering. Let's start with the obvious thing, it's the front light. It has similarities to the Duke bikes and it has this really cool signature running daylights and yeah, I think it looks and fits perfect to the adventure bike. Now we need to go down because we want to show you the suspension, a proper upgrade, 230 mil of travel. So if you are an off-road guy, that's something that you always wanted on the little adventure bikes. And it's the WP suspension, rebound and compression adjustable. And of course, this one has the pro component since we are on the big fair. Katie wants to also to show the power parts. And this bike has a lot of them. I'm going to show you just in a moment. And yeah, it has even more adjustability than the stock one. And on the rear, we have a 230 mil shock absorber and you can adjust the preload and the rebound with 20 clicks. Since this bike is orientated for off-road riding, KTM decided to put the 21 inch on the front and 18 inch wheels on the back. 320 mil disc brake on the front and 240 on the back. Yeah, the KTM fitted also a really cool rally style seat and that you can properly sit on and yeah, stand up easily. And then step down test, I can reach the floor with no issues, but I'm 180 centimeters tall and for the people that are smaller, don't worry, KTM is bringing in the future different sizes of the wheels and different models based on that bike. So for my, for example, I see some comments online from my Indian fans uh, worrying about that this bike is too tall for them. Don't worry, there will be some lower position bikes on the market based on the adventure bike soon. Let's talk about tech. Ride modes, it has different ones. Rally mode, street mode and the rain mode. Then, guys, it has a cruise control here. New buttons, when you wanna relax and just cruise around, you have this cruise control. And it has also a USB-C port to charge your GPS unit or your phone and it has traction control, cornering ABS, yeah, lots of tech for yeah, this small package of a bike. According to that guy here, that's by the way Dita from KTM and he's the product manager of the adventure, you said fuel tank, no confirmed information yet, but it has more fuel capacity than the Duke. This is what we can this is what we can say for now, so you can have a longer travel than the Duke bike. Okay, let's move forward. And on the rear, something very obvious. The swing arm completely redesigned to fit the new suspension and it comes in a gravity die cast technology. And what else? What do we see? As said before, the bike is completely redesigned. Also the rear part, a nice, I would say, enduro style light and the back side and a compact tail tidy. Looks sick and it fits proper to the R version. The whole bike sits on a completely new frame. On the front, the well-known KTM trellis frame. And on the rear, under the plastic, it's hidden on aluminum subframe. Let's talk about engine. It's the same as on the 390 Duke, 399cc LC4C motor, compact, light, and gives enough power. How much power exactly? I don't know yet, because this is a, still, I would say, a prototype. It comes out next year and KTM is still pushing the limits to get as much as possible power out of it. Now we're gonna dive deep and look at the KTM power parts on that bike and some little stuff that we didn't see yet in the video. You can add those cool auxiliary lights, a brake disc guard, this Akrapovic exhaust is also an accessory. So ladies and gents, that's the brand new KTM 390 Adventure R and Dita, good job. You did an amazing bike and I think the whole world will love it and guys let us know in the comment section below what you would like i will talk with Dieter and then we're gonna answer the questions if you have some more technical questions see you in the next video in few hours until then rock on boom, boom if that would be always so easy <laughs> <laughs>